Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Landon Home Show. Today, I'm just gonna show you how to use 360 degree video. Hi, I'm Stephen J.B. Davis, your land specialist and residential realtor here in Central Kentucky and beyond. And today I want to show you how to use 360 video because I plan on making a lot more of them. And it occurred to me that it's not necessarily self-explanatory. So uh, today we're going to do it on the uh, mobile device, a cell phone. And then I'm also gonna show you how to use it on your computer. Um, I wanna make sure that you get the best out of it because a lot of YouTube settings just default to whatever uses the least amount of data or whatever uses the least amount of your home's uh, internet bandwidth, things like that. And 360 video really is best viewed in 4K. I record all of my videos in 4K, but if you're viewing one of these 360 degree videos in let's say, 320p you may see or 340p you might see on your phone or 720p or 1080 um, things will appear grainy and they will not be clear and you'll be like wow this is kind of a crappy video and that's not necessarily the case i mean i guess it's a free country you may think that all my videos are crappy but uh, in terms of quality i it, i'd be hard pressed to say that any of them are um, they're recorded in in really great quality with some great cameras so um, we're going to start with the cell phone we're going to go into a dual screen I'm going to be in a small little corner and you're basically going to be looking at a screenshot of my phone if you give me just a moment here. Okay, so you should be looking at my phone and you can see I'm moving it around um, because that's how 360 works. Um, as far as quality is concerned, there's a gear shift you can see in the upper right hand corner of my phone. And so when you tap that, you get all of these things that pertain to the quality or just how the how the video shows. You can see at the top, it says quality. It says auto 720S, and this is exactly what I mean. So you're gonna tap on that very first option, and you see how it says auto recommended, higher picture quality under that, data saver under that, and advanced. To view 360 videos really of any kind on your phone with the best results, you're gonna to want to go to this advanced setting, and then you are going to choose the 2160S uh, quality option or 2160. This is one of the dimensions of 4K. So when I tap that, it says 2160S will apply to your current video. Um, sometimes it helps to take the video out of full screen and then to put it back in full screen. And then when you press play, take a hike with me. Things will eventually adjust based on your, let me turn my volume down. Things will eventually adjust uh, based on your internet strength, your, like your bandwidth at your house or your cellular data strength. Um, ah, there it is. So now things are a lot clearer. I don't know if you just saw that change, but now I'm viewing in a lot crisper of a situation. Whereas, just for example's sake, if I decide that I want to view this in, let's just call it lower picture quality or the data saver option, what then happens, if you give me a little bit of a second, it's gonna change the resolution for us. Um, it's still really, really clear right now. Mm. Ah, there you go. Now you can see like my face just got blurrier, everything just became lower quality. So again, to get that highest quality setting, you just go to, uh oh, you go to this gear shift in the upper right hand corner. I believe this applies to, a, to tablets as well. And then you click this quality option at the top and you're going to go to the advanced settings and choose the 2160 setting. And then depending on the strength of your cellular data or your home internet, it'll take a few seconds, but then the picture will recorrect re itself or recalibrate itself to display a much clearer picture. Um, so now let's try that on our computer. Okay, now we're on our computer. And what you'll notice differently on a computer first is that 
There is a cursor up here in the upper left hand corner and this allows you to turn on your own um, by just using this small area here, but you can also drag, like you can click the screen and drag around. Um, so either way is how you navigate in 360 video. As far as quality is concerned, um, there is a gear shift down at the bottom of the screen. You can see my mouse circling around here. And right now you can see that it says HD. Uh, if you click that same quality choice, which is at the bottom of this menu now, rather than the top, like on the phone, you click that, and just like on the phone, you can click the 2160S option, which also has a superscript of 4K in the upper right-hand portion. When you click that, it may take a few seconds to calibrate, like we talked about, depending on your cellular data, or um, I guess in this case, your home internet data, or whatever. Uh, and right now mine's taking quite a while because I live in the country. Um, but Thanks for tuning into the Lane at Home show. Uh, let's uh, turn this down a little bit so I don't have to scream at you. Uh, it's still taking a little bit, and I think now we might be in 4K. Yeah, it looks a lot clearer now. Um, so yeah, that is how you change the settings. Um, I would say that you would always need to do this for again any 4K experience or rather any 360 experience um some people are now even recording in 8k um most phones and like devices don't even display in that in fact youtube will automatically revert it to 8k or sorry revert it back down to 4k because it doesn't support anything over it but you always want to choose that highest quality setting no one does a 360 degree video for it to be grainy so if you're experiencing graininess change your settings that's the moral of the story uh, i look forward to bringing you more 360 tours and other types of videos perhaps even some hunting ones as i get ready for fall hunting season um for turkey upland birds um maybe even some deer i'm kind of undecided on deer this year but in any case uh i hope that this was helpful and i look forward to answering your questions seeing your comments and helping you buy and sell some land or some residential real estate talk to you later thanks for watching